Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. I think it's been about a week. I've got time to make a quick one today, but I am working on a couple longer ones that might be up by the end of the week. We're going down to Southern Africa, Wonderwork Cave, right down here. Here's the location of the cave and a story just came out earlier today. Thought I'd do a video on it. Found it very interesting, but the cave is right down here. Let's just go take a peek inside. Here is an area of the cave. Obviously research has been going on in here for a while. But let's go over to a story that just came out earlier today. Here is one of them that I found. Israeli Canadian researchers uncover oldest home in human history. Now I have talked about many periods of history on my channel, but rarely I talk about stuff going back millions of years. It says, the African desert cave shows human activity dating back nearly two million years. Early indication of fire use and tool making also unearthed. A team of Israeli and Canadian researchers has unearthed the world's oldest home, dating back nearly two million years. It says South Africa's Wonderwork Cave is potentially the first cave in the world to be occupied by humans and contains evidence of both fire and tool use. The cave itself is one of the rare sites in the world that preserves a continuous archaeological record spanning millions of years. And the oldest one, well, that's all for speculation, but some pretty remarkable finds made in this cave, I guess. It says the site is very unique in that it was occupied through many periods in prehistory through two historical periods, so it's a wonderful archive of human activity. They have been excavating in here for about 15 years. The cave is about 140 meters long or about 460 feet long. In the research, which was recently published in the Quaternary Science Reviews, was a joint effort between geologists and archaeologists. It confirms that our human ancestors were making simple Oldowan tools inside caves millions of years ago. It says Oldowan is the oldest known tool industry and considered to be a significant milestone in human evolutionary history. The earliest Oldowan tools are nearly 2.6 million years old and were found in East Africa. However, Wonderwar Cave is unique among ancient Oldowan sites because it is a cave and not open air. Here is a 3D scan of the cave they made in their 15 years of research here. It says, we managed to establish now that the earliest occupation is an occupation associated with the Oldowan stone tool industry. They're only found in open air contexts. And here we actually have Oldowan tools that people are making inside the cave at just under 2 million years. It's the oldest cave home in the world. It says, together with Oldowan tools, and th those are mainly primitive chopping tools, archaeologists have found animal bones inside the cave, which they hypothesize could point to one of the earliest examples of cooking. In addition, they were able to successfully determine the shift from Oldowan tools to early hand axes over one million years ago. It says, we have the earliest evidence in the world for the use of fire inside of a cave. It's based on a repertoire of features. One of them is burnt bones, burnt stones, burnt sediment or soil, and we also have intact ash. At the moment, researchers are unable to ascertain if the homonyms occupying the cave were making and controlling the fire themselves or simply bringing it into the cave from burning branches found outside. Up until now, other examples of early fire use had only been found in open air sites where the potential role of wildfires could not be excluded. It says throughout the years long excavations, one of the primary challenges the researchers faced was dating the cave deposits. Dating methods for ancient sites are less refined and much more complicated than radiocarbon dating, a process that can reliably measure things that are up to 50,000 years old. For this reason, the team relied on two innovative processes. First, paleomagnetism. And I find that word pretty interesting, paleomagnetism a geological method that determines the magnetization recorded in the ancient sediments that entered the cave. Secondly, they use cosmogenic burial dating, a new method that can accurately date when particular sediments entered the cave. But that, again, is a look at a 3D scan of the cave, and they are using some pretty high-tech new methods to determine the age of this place. It says for the paleomagnetism, the team carefully analyzed a 2.5 meter or 8.2 thick sedimentary layer using hundreds of samples from the cave walls to measure magnetic signals. While compass needles today point northward, the Earth's magnetic field has always shifted over time. 
Ancient particles which entered the cave from outside before settling on the prehistoric floor preserves the direction of the Earth's magnetic field at the time. So that's how they kind of use that paleomagnetism, at least part of it. And I will leave this link below if you want to read more. But basically, those tiny particles act like tiny magnets. But just summing things up here, it says the discoveries at Wonderwork Cave have important implications to our understanding of human evolution. It corroborates, firstly, that people at the time had cognitive ability to make tools inside of caves, and they had a broader repertoire than we thought before. The second thing is the early date on fire is an enormous shift in human evolution. The moment you add pyrotechnology, it opens up a world in terms of protecting yourself and kinds of food you want to eat. So I thought this was a very important story. Very cool story. Human ancestors going way back in history here. And I will leave the link below. That is a story coming from Wonderwork Cave here in Africa. That's going way, way back in history. I just thought I would make that video today. Haven't made a video in about a week, so just kind of thought I'd get back on the bike, start making videos again, remembering how to do this. But that is a story I thought I'd report on today. Hope you thought that was interesting. Might have another video from this part of the world coming in the next few days. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.